In this video, we're touring a beautifully built tiny house on wheels that's easy to move around thanks to its lightweight design and its ability to go on the road without a special towing permit. This house is 24 feet long by 8.5 feet wide, so it's super compact but surprisingly it still fits everything from a U-shaped dinette, a main floor bedroom and even a mini bathtub. Because it's designed to be so mobile, it has dual systems so it can run off-grid or be hooked up to electric and plumbing. It also has a retractable folding deck at the end for instant outdoor living space wherever it's parked. We're going to meet up with Sarah to get a full tour, so let's go check it out. This model is called the Nomad and it's built by Minimalist. And the Nomad is reflective of that it is a smaller model and it is really made for taking on the road and moving from place to place. And this tiny home is located at Harmony Resort South Algonquin. So it's within this park here. It's completely surrounded by forest woodlands. So it's a really beautiful spot to come and stay. So this is the door of the tiny home. So it's a nice sliding door so you get all the natural light coming through. Um, and outside there are the aluminum stairs and the railings come off and they actually fold right up. So that's how you can travel with them and transport them. You don't have to take them off and do all this stuff. It actually folds right up and you can go off on the road. So the staircase is really nice and wide here. So it also serves as a bit of a, a deck when you go from place to place you have a kind of a little patio that goes with you to enjoy the outside space so when you first come in you here have your uh, coat storage so you have your hangers it's a nice big size here um, but this model is actually made to be on grid or off grid so right now we are on grid we're connected to the hydro and the water but as you can see there's an inverter a charge controller and a battery already in here to make it off grid so this area here is really a multi-use area. So you can have it as your dinette where you sit down and eat. You could have it as kind of your living room um, where you would sit and you would watch your TV here that's mounted on the wall. Or it also transforms into a bed where you would have an extra adult or you could have two kids sleep on here as well. To make the guest bed, the tabletop pops off the bottom there and you turn it over and you just pop off the table leg and you just set it down on the lip here underneath and you put a cushion on top and the bed's made. And there's also a large amount of storage underneath the dinette as well. And under the dinette cushion there is where they have the furnace, the 12 volt pump and the water heater for if you are going off grid. A lot of thought went into the design of this to really maximize the functionality um, of this small space and to get so many uses out of it. So here we have the kitchen. We have a nice double stainless steel sink, um, lots of storage underneath here, nice window while you're uh, looking out to bring in the natural light. Um, got some extra shelving here which you can store some of your dry goods. We have the combo washer and dryer here. Um, if you choose not to have that model it'll just give you extra storage space but our model here has the combo washer dryer so that's where your laundry system would be. Um, we have the stove here which will run on propane as well. It's a nice full-size oven, lots of space here to cook, um, nice range here. Extra storage above this. We've got nice deep, really deep drawers here for all your extra stuff here. Um, 12 volt fridge, a little bit smaller than your average fridge, but this will run off grid. Um, and it still has, it's not a mini fridge. It's just, uh, it's just compact here to fit the space. Got extra storage up here. And then we have a nice big sliding pantry here, which includes the microwave that slides right out. Um, for all your microwave needs, as well as other sliding pantry doors here as well. This kitchen has a lot of storage space for considering it's such a small, tiny home. There's actually a huge amount of storage. So it's a really nice modern kitchen with the black and the white, and then you have the stainless steel. And then the wood accents here with the counter and the shelves really warm the space up. So behind the pocket door here, we have the washroom. So we've got this little mini tub with this nice faux marble for the full size shower, as well as this really nice modern vanity here. And then we have the composting toilet here, which is made by separate, which is really great for off grid living. 
In terms of storage, we have a little uh, mirror that opens up into a cupboard above the sink. We've got the cupboard underneath the sink as well. There's a shelf here above the toilet where you could put some extra storage as well. And the washroom has an extraction fan to ventilate to the outside and the composting toilet is vented to the outside as well. So moving down the hallway, you come to the bedroom here. It's behind a pocket door right here. And the pocket door has a regular lock if you're just, you know, staying here. And then it has a more bolted lock that hooks in if you're traveling on the road so that this isn't swinging open and closed on the road. It's a memory foam mattress and it's a queen size bed. So really decent size plus lots of space to walk around. And then under the bed, there's extra storage or if you are using it off grid, that's where you would put your gray water, your black water and your fresh water tanks to keep them insulated against the cold so they don't freeze. So there's a lot of storage in here with this really nice built-in wall unit here. Really nice wood background, the lights uh, underneath here. Um, lots of storage up here. <laughs> Lots and lots of room. You can hang actually, we've got the hanging bars here and uh, on both sides as well. So in the wall unit here, we have these nice little tucked away uh, side tables. There's one on each side for each person as well. It's a really clean way to keep uh, your private stuff back there and have your own separate space. And it's just a really nice functional feature for the bedroom to have this, especially in a tiny home. And then on either side of the bedroom, we have two nice windows here. This is the smaller one and the other one's the bigger one. They both open up to allow nice uh, airflow throughout the bedroom on a really nice day. And all the windows in the house are residential grade glass windows, but they're tempered so that they won't break when you're transporting the tiny home on the road. It's really special that there's just a main floor bedroom on here. Um, a lot of people don't like going up into a loft to sleep. And it's really nice that there's a uh, separation here with, with you have your closed door, you have a whole separate living space. If there's two people living here, you know, you can be in separate areas and really have your own personal space. It's a really smart design that this tiny home was able to have a main floor bedroom, being that it is so small and still able to get all these different areas that make it so functional. For heating and cooling the tiny house, if you're on grid, we have the uh, mini split, which was the AC and the heating unit. And then if you're running it off grid, you'd be running it off of propane. Um, and you have your ducts in the, under the dinette, in the bedroom and in the bathroom to heat the whole area. And in this tiny home, there is a heat recovery ventilation unit, which is important to have in a small space like this for maintaining good air quality. So this tiny home is in Harmony Resort, South Algonquin, which is located right at the south gate of Algonquin Provincial Park, um, which is one of the most well-known and beautiful parks in Canada. We rent them out and we do have them for sale as well. What I love about this tiny home is that the smart design makes it so functional, but it's such a beautiful design as well. So not only is it aesthetically pleasing, but it just has everything you would need in such a tiny space. It's cool that this tiny home is on wheels and it is lighter than the average tiny home. So you can take it anywhere you want, but it also being off grid gives you a lot of flexibility. Subscribe to Exploring Alternatives and please share this video if you liked it. And if you want to find out more about Harmony Resorts and their tiny houses, we'll put the link to their website in the description below. Thanks for watching.